Hello and welcome to another one of my walking films. Today I'm basically up at the top of the Goit Valley. So locally there's a pub called the Cat and Fiddle, quite well known. Um, so basically that is just up there around about um, half a mile away or so. And I've come down to a place called Derbyshire Bridge. So I'm just doing a short little walk, only about uh, four or so k, but just to get out and do something different and particularly look at some wildlife. So there's a road here on the left, which basically is just a one way. We're going to come back up that, but basically I'm going to take the track to the right. So uh, let's go. There is actually obviously a small car park here and also uh, a loop which is just checked and is open. So anyway, so seriously, I'm not up for doing anything daft. Um, but already I've just got to kill you flying around in front of me. So I know you're not going to be able to pick this up, but genuinely this is a spur of the moment thing, but I'm hoping it's going to be really exciting. Cat and fiddle just in centre of shot, but you know, just sort of to give you an idea as to where we are. Man, I've already had Latwing, Kestrel, Curlew, and two Ravens. After a kilometre and about 20 minutes, just come to this sign here, we're going to take a left. Just beautiful, isn't it? What a sense of space. After only about five minutes or so, uh, Burbage Edge is just straight ahead there. But we are just going to take a left down towards the Goit Valley proper. You just can't buy this, can you? Amazing. Sorry, that says Berry Clough, but anyway, just down here, and we're taking a left. Shining tour straight in the middle. It's like the uh, lungs of the northwest, this, the peat. And they have been in the peat district actually doing a terrific job actually of uh, sort of uh, getting the peat back again because it does just create this amazing environment. Wow. <laughs> I know it's not exactly an epic, this, but who cares? Boulders Brass, middle of shot. Um, actually, the bird I came to see, a short-eared owl. Of course, I don't have any decent zooms, but uh, rest assured there's one there. So this has been an incredible half hour for uh, wildlife. Absolutely amazing. Right, just 2k and uh, about 40 minutes. Good grief, I've really took my time. Just a bit muddy here. Um, so yeah, I'd sort of bring walking trainers, you know, at, at least, because um, it has been quite dry, but this is obviously always gonna be here, uh, this stream. We're going to go left up there in a moment. Wonderful. I'd always wondered for years what was at the top end of uh, the Goit Valley, and today I'm actually going to be like joining up the uh, the gap in my knowledge. Oh, this has just been stunning. <laughs> what a road. 
So we're uh, three kilometers in. We're at 480 meters there at the highest point. Um, but we're just back up the road here now, just a kilometer and a gentle sort of hike back towards the car. So let's go. Where we've just come down. It's uh, one way, this road, by the way. So it leads up from the Goit Valley uh, towards the Cat and Fiddle. An hour and a half ago, I had no idea this even existed. That was amazing. So, just approaching the car park now. So, that was four and a half K and just around about an hour and 20. Um, but thank you very much for coming with me to Derbyshire Bridge and the top of Goit Valley. It's genuinely been absolutely superb.